everybody should be working and nobody bigger than the next nigga around here. And, you know, and, and Dre was, when even when Dre came to the studio, it was like, you know, the dean is here or... And he was, you know, was he he arrogant and cocky. Quiet in the hallways. I don't know, but you had to, you should, you better act like he was arrogant and cocky because... That's that's kind of the only thing I kind of remember from Dre. The All Eyes on Me movie, oh my God. Oh, it was crazy. Horrible movie. Why None you didn't it like it? I, I don't How know much who they was talking was about. They were making shit up every <laughs> day. Not even 5% of it no, was true. I mean, you know, it's hard for me to like how you make a movie and don't talk about Danny Boy in it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. What was the last thing you said to Pop? And what was the last thing you said? What was y'all conversation like? Damn. Uh, we had our last conversation, I would say, I mean, you know, us talking was maybe the set of Toss It Up. Okay. That was the last video. That we Whoa. Had. And I wasn't happy with Pop. Because of that video. No, his ass showed up late. Oh, <laughs> that one. <laughs> Hey, he's gonna scrap the video. This is my time to get my solo on your ass. We here five Is he hours. always late anyway? I'm the latest person. Yeah, I was about to in say. The world. Like, so what was that like? Like the energy that 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 was a big that was a that was a nice video. Oh man, that man! They told us if he's not here in the next 30, 40 minutes, we're gonna scrap it. Big budgets on these videos. Man, you know that time people were spending three, four hundred thousand, maybe seven, eight hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, close, $800, yeah, close to a million dollars on video. Pac ass come wobbling his George Jefferson walk up in that. I'm looking at him like, man, what the fuck? What did you say? Yeah, I always say something. Me and Pac always had like, you know, words. Like, and I don't even know if they were true words. <laughs> this was words. Yeah, I, whatever I said, shut up, Nettie boy. You, you, you a shorty, you a kid. Like, a kid. <laughs> You were serious about the yeah, crowd, man, man. I, man, I was super serious about this. I'm finna do my video. And, and, uh, JoJo and Casey here, yeah, they got this fire in this tight ass suit. You, you should have been there. You thought he would have learned this, the slip and slide video. He was sitting there like he enjoyed it. You know what I'm well, saying? You know, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was out the country. Yeah, that was out the country. Everybody, you know. Everybody was happy. Right? Everybody happy. They flew everybody out on my damn budget. Uh, man, that's crazy, man. So I think, you know, like when I look at, you know, you, man, Everything that happened, even to Dre, when Dre left, like, how was that energy? They were calling, you know, uh, Pac say without a great gay ass Dre. Man. It was all kind of stuff Woo. saying, being said. You heard, you was there, so you know what was that I was like? My head like a turtle. <laughs> what, what, you was like, what the hell is going on? Like I'm the straightest nigga in the room. <laughs> what was that like, man? Like that time period, man. Man, you talking about Dre? Uh, you know. It was funny, you know. What I mean? It was funny because the shit that Pop was the best at, ant at, at antagonizing people. And but he just flipped like that, like they were I, kicking I mean, it on know, California Love and every yeah, and I, I that think, whole. I think he kind of felt Pop. Uh, uh, Pop kind of felt that Dre wasn't participating with, you know, the artists mm -hmm. as much, and you know, everybody should be working and nobody bigger than the next nigga around here, and, you know. And, and Dre was when even when Dre came to the studio, it was like, you know, the dean is here or. And he was, you know was he arrogant and cocky. Quiet in the hallways. I don't know, but you had to. You should. You better act like he was arrogant and cocky because that's that's kind of the only thing I kind of remember from Dre. Like you wasn't going. He, to he demanded that. Person. It was he real studio it. time shit when Dre came in the it's studio. About business, but he you know was know serious I mean? too. You, you, I think. Of look at look at how he is now. I mean, man, nigga was serious. And, and you know, in this in this B studio, this stupid his guys in there fighting pits. <laughs> For real, for real. In our studio, motherfuckers in there just smoking weed and standing on top of speakers. You know what I mean? That shit ain't happening when Drake comes to the studio. I don't know. You had that part in Straight Outta Compton. That's what I thought about, That's what what he I thought about when he was saying that, where he came out and he was telling Suge, like, they were out there messing around or whatever, and he was like, man, he was trying to record. Was it Pac was in the inside the yeah, studio yeah. or whatever? Yeah, he said, and he I got like, Pac in here. Yeah, he's like, y'all need to be quiet. Y'all out here messing around. That the, movie the, thing whatever. crazy. All oh, that movie shit crazy. All that shit, that's acting shit. Yeah, I know he it. All of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't telling we're, not that. Be, we're not going that far. Y'all be, we're not going that motherfucking far <laughs> with these movies. No, I think, you Especially know. Like, all Eyes on Me movie. Oh, my God. Oh, it was crazy. Horrible movie. Why None you didn't it like it? I, I don't How know much who they was talking about. They were making shit up every day. <laughs> Not even 5% of no, it was true. I mean, you know, it's hard for me to like how you make a movie and don't talk about Danny Boy in it. Mm. Like my homie made that they movie. They just wrote you like, out of it. Why would they write you out? 
again, you know, Suge was being, uh, you know, blackballed. You That's know, right. Anything that kind of had anything to do with Suge or Which the resemblance of him. Mm. You know, I inherited a lot of his problems. Mm. And um, it's just still weird to be left out of the story. Like, I would watch things um, even when working a job and, and, and anticipate on seeing my part or seeing what, you know, the little small part. Because a, a lot of people be like, man, you didn't know Pac that long. It felt like forever. Yeah, but... Is but the work that we've done and the things that we've done... It's a magnitude. You couldn't... It's a lot of people mm -hmm. that won't experience that in a lifetime. Do you think it's because you're from the west side of Chicago? And they was from L.A. And hey, half of them niggas ain't from L.A. Most of them wasn't, was Because I know Dan was all that, down man. in Oklahoma. I'm saying they be saying that, and they be like, hey, L.A., man, come on, bro, where you from? Dan, I'm just were, like you. I, I came from Chicago with a vision and a dream. Don't hold it against me. That's all. Your ass from Mississippi, you from Philly. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is we talking about? I'm from Chicago. <laughs> Which is hard. That's yeah, hard. and a, a real fucking city too. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. we oh, just yeah. as real as any other fucking city. Yeah, yeah. yeah so y'all started a lot probably, of stuff. Probably so. Probably you know. But again, it, I, I think inheriting the problem from Shug. But they be acting. They be acting like um, California harder than Chicago. Where no, certain not things everybody. Are you know, I just kind of. I, I kind of. It can be hard. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to. Man, I done been to some places where the grass is so green, and you get your fucking head smacked in. Shot to move so, off. So I don't know. You know what I mean? I just. I guess that's why I'm blessed. I go places. You respect people. Mm -hmm. You respect. That's you respect. Real. I respect people because you just never know. You never know. A, a five year old kid can walk up to you and shoot your brain out, and mm -hmm. you can't. And you can't do nothing about so it. The kid to jump on. Yeah. So what you think? Just because you you bigger, you know. I don't. I don't think that there's no tougher. It's just that you know the respect, especially coming from death row. Um, you know, none of us wanted. We. I didn't get as much as everybody else got. People got plaques and. You know, checks. I didn't get those checks and those plaques. So, you know, being a part of that story and not left out of it. So that's why I wrote my own book, Stranded on Death Row. Stranded on Death Row. I don't Row. need anybody to tell my story. You I tell it for myself. So I want to talk about, you know, some things. You know, I, I ain't going to lie to you. Uh, my favorite song is I Ain't Mad At You. You just took a <laughs> drink. So I sure would like to hear a little bit of that before I can start. Any question about no, any, anything I got. So if, if your boy... Me, 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 you know, <laughs> get it together and give me some. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mad at you, no, no. I ain't mad at you. Man, stop playing. You see what I'm saying? Do you know how I am about the music, oh, man? I love <laughs> Listen. No, you see, I'm, I'm an R&B. He's rap. I, well, I'm, I'm, no, I do it all. Oh, wow, wow, I wow. do it all. Stop playing. Well, I'm an R&B. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.